Hey gang, it's your boy Platt, back with another value spirit video. Uh, today the particular spirit we have is Crucian Aged Light Rum. I believe I bought this for like uh, $14, so sub $20. Really hard to beat at, at that price, pretty much <laughs> pretty much any spirit outside of vodka, really. Uh, Crucian is produced in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. The rum itself is named after the locals in St. Croix to refer to as Crucian. So this is Crucian rum, not Cruzan rum. I used to pronounce it the same way, so don't, don't feel bad, but it's Crucian rum. Now, the distillery itself, formerly known as the State Diamond Distillery, uh, has been operated for about 250 years, about as old as the United States, which is pretty crazy to think about. The plantation on which the distillery is on has been around since 1760, so even longer than that. Um, one of the really cool things about Crucian Rum and their history is that one particular family, the Nelthrup family, has been managing and working at the distillery for eight generations, all dating all the way back to the 1700s. It's a really kind of cool story. Uh, you do see this in some of the like uh, cognac uh, families in France or whatever, but again, a really cool story that, again, predates America, which is pretty impressive. Uh, still to this day, the Nelthrup family works there. The current head distiller and president's Gary Nelthrup. I believe his sister works there. I know his father and uncles both work there. So uh, a family tradition, which has uh, been going for over 200 years, which is kind of cool. The company currently today is owned and operated by Beam Centauri, the big international uh, beverage conglomerate, uh, Jim Beam, the Centauri whiskeys, uh, massive line of products. One of the advantages that you have when you get into one of these big conglomerates is you have access to certain things. And what Crucian has access to is Jim Beam barrels. That is what they age Crucian rum is, is and then use Jim Beam barrels. If anybody shopped for lumber lately, they know it's nice to have a source of oak in Crujan. Uh, it does have that. Now, Crujan rums stylistically are similar to Cuban rums. They're a little bit lighter. Uh, they're column distilled, not pot distilled. If you may remember, Bacardi originally was a Cuban rum, and again, on the lighter side. So, Crujan, similarly, uh, they're not pot distilled like rums you might get from Barbados or Bermuda. Um, also, these rums tend to uh, allow themselves to be used more in a mixologist kind of way because, again, the, the flavor is not overpowering in, in a cocktail. Um, one of the unique things about Crucian in the distillery itself is it's one of two rum distilleries that are part of the American Whiskey Trail. Now, a lot of people will say, well, why would a rum distillery be part of an American Whiskey Trail? The uh, other distillery being Bacardi. Well, if you know anything about the history of American distilling, you know that pre-Revolutionary War especially, rum was the spirit of America. It wasn't bourbon or even rye whiskey. Uh, it really wasn't until after the Revolutionary War, until we started moving west, Kentucky, Tennessee, that the American distiller had access to corn and thus bourbon. Uh, probably rye whiskey was the American whiskey before bourbon whiskey. But again, rum played an important part of that, and I think it's cool that they have a couple of rum distilleries as part of that. Uh, real quick, I want to touch in on some of their other uh, rums produced at Crucian. Uh, first, there is Crucian 9, a spiced rum made with nine different herbs. There's also nine different uh, districts on the island of St. Croix, so again, homage to the locals. Uh, next, there's Crujan Velvet Sin. It is a horchata blend with dairy cream and cinnamon. Uh, probably a good little shooter to have. I believe at one time they also had a rum cream that they discontinued, but if you like those types, uh, check that out. Uh, they also have Crujan Single Barrel, which is aged up to 12 years in a really good aged rum for the dollar. It compares greatly with Bacardi 8, Zacapa 23, Zaya, Monte Cristo, uh, some of those little more renowned uh, rums. Again, for the value, really good uh, aged rum. And of course, they have a full line of flavored rums, uh, raspberry, coconut, banana, peach, watermelon. Um, again, the lighter rums kind of 
tend to drift more to the vodka side. And of course we know all the flavored vodkas out there. So it's a natural progression for the rum companies to have all these uh, flavored rums. Real quick, want to give, uh, want to go over some of the uh, accolades that Crujon Rum has, especially as far as being a good value rum. Uh, Sirius Eats lists this as one of the 10 best budget rums uh, on the market. Uh, the Manual says this is one of the best cheap rum brands out on the marketplace. Pace Magazine lists this as one of the 10 best bottom shelf rums. Now that term bottom shelf kind of comes off as derogatory, but remember this is under $20. It is a cheaper rum. And if it's one of the best at that, you know, value spot, it's a good value, which is what we're really, you know, looking for. And lastly, BigMoonshine.com lists this as one of the best rum brands under $20. So again, that's all we're kind of looking for is, again, good value at whatever the price point is, whether it's $100 or $14 like this. So enough about Crucian Rum. Let's give her a try. All right. Um, first thing I kind of noticed, and maybe you might, I, I don't know if you'd pick this up in the light. Um, it's aged, but it's fairly clear, but just a slight bit of color. This is not as clear as, as like a vodka or even a Bacardi. You can pick up just a slight hint of wood, even though whatever in these aged light rums whatever color you get generally gets filtered out but there is just a slight gold haze to it let's uh give her a smell all right you get the sweetness on the nose not too hot um or aggressive on the nose let's give her a try oh that's really nice Nice and sweet, goes down easy. Um, body's kind of light. Um, boy, there's there's some flavor in there and I can't really nail it. It's not vanilla or anything, even though conceptually some of that gets picked up in the wood, but a little more flavorful than a generic cheap light rum, you know, your Bacardi like kind of wannabes. Um, yeah, man, that goes down really easy. Um, even though it's an 80 proof spirit, does not have quite the burn going down. Um, that tastes like something I really want to throw in the blender and <laughs> do something with. I, I don't know why. Actually, really, the first thing I thought of was, man, I'd love to have this in a pina colada. Uh, I worked at several bars where this was the actual rum for our mojitos. This is, you know, what we had for mojitos. Um, and again, I think just a good, clean rum goes great in any of those cocktails. Uh, at the price, you don't mind throwing that in a cocktail. You don't want to, you know, you wouldn't want to put a $40, $50 bottle of, of rum in in a pina colada or something like that, or even with Coke per se. But at this price, throw it, throw it in some orange juice, throw it in a, you know, a Mai Tai or, you know, whatever kind of tiki drink you want to make up, even though this does not go on a classic Mai Tai for all you mixologists out there. I'm not saying this should, but any one of those kind of tiki style drinks with syrup and stuff like that to where the rum doesn't necessarily come through as much. This works just fine for that. And again, the price point, you don't mind putting it in there. But yeah, that is a pretty nice little rum. Been, been a while since I've uh, had this. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section. Or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.